Here comes Jake Dennis. Can he get up into the top four? Askew goes up into ninth place. Dennis goes fastest. Both Jaguars are eliminated. Qualifying Group A. Dennis, Freitz, Van Dorn and Verline all advance through. Here comes jean eric Byrne. He's still improving and he goes to the top of the times. Degrassi comes home sixth. We're with De Costa now. No one else is improving. Everybody else has had to back off. Both DS to Cheetahs, as they were in Mexico City, are going to be through to the duels. De Costa, Verne, Lotterer and De Vries through to the duels. Nick De Vries against Jake Dennis will be the quarterfinal. Lotterer versus Freitz. Van Dorn versus Verne. Verline versus De Costa. Nick De Vries versus Jake Dennis. And it is a uh, 1 minute 38.980. Dennis is still just over two tenths of a second away. Yeah, Dennis has lost a little bit. That's a good lap from Nick DeFries oh. when you compare it to this morning. Yeah, the back end of the Andretti sliding around Jack. This looks like it's going to be enough for DeVries. Here he comes across the line. The gap goes up to three tenths. So Nick DeVries advances through. Next quarterfinal duel. Andre Lotterer up against Robin Franks. Lotterer did miss a bit of running at the end of free practice earlier on after hitting the wall. He did well to get through to the duels, but he's not going to be getting through to the semi-finals. Franz crosses the line and does a 1 minute 38.764. Next up, Stoffel van Dorn facing Jean-Eric Verne. Almost three tenths of a second between them. Into the final corner at 19, and it is Stoffel van Dorn who's going to be going through. The final quarter-final duel, Pascal Verlein up against Antonio Felix da Costa. Verlein out across the line. And he sets a 1 minute 39.3, and I don't think that's going to be enough because the gap is extending to Da Costa. It's over a quarter of a second. And da Costa missed the apex, so turn the turn 17. Final corner at turn 19. Da Costa to the line. Is he going to make it through to the semis? Yes, he is. Nick De Vries, Robin Freitz, Stoffel Van Dorn, and Antonio Felix Da Costa are advancing through to the semi-finals. Nick De Vries up against Robin Freitz. A neat and tidy final few corners, and Freitz might be in for the final for the first time this season. Freitz across the line, looks like he's going to do it, and he does. Robin Freitz into the final, semi-final two. Antonio Felix da Costa up against Stoffel van Dorn. There's four thousandths between them, but not anymore. Van Dorn extends it to two tenths. Goal! He took so much curb. Is da Costa closing in? He's got ahead. He's swung it around from two tenths down to Costa's 300s up. The ebb and flow of this lap is incredible. Through the final corner, turn 19, it's going to be so close. Van Dorn's fractionally ahead, and Van Dorn does it by a hundredth of a second. And the final will be Stoffel Van Dorn versus Robin Freitz for pole position for round four. Van Dorn slightly quicker. Through the downhill, meanders one and two, is Freitz off. Oh. <laughs> he collected it, but that might be it right there, that type of mistake. You saw the, the, the marks as he locked the rears up. How much time has disappeared there for Robin Freitz? Only eight hundredths of a second. He looked a bit wibbly-wobbly going into Turn 4 as well, to be fair. Is that a technical term, Jeff? certainly is. <laughs> they, all the engineers use it in their debriefs. Freitz is now over a tenth down on Stoffel van Dorn. Yeah, you'd see the balance of the Envision car. The rear's just not underneath him. It's sliding all the time. Stoffel van Dorn doing a fantastic job, and he's able to really flow the momentum through that section as he now comes up to turns 12 and 13. Doesn't overdo it like he did last time. Freitz is closing though. Half a tenth away at the moment. Oh, but Freitz is just sideways all the time. <laughs> Maximum attack is absolutely just pushing. And there we go. Ah, at, some point, at some point it had to go. And now Van Dorn's advantage is almost three tenths of a second. You've got to say Van Dorn's driving within the grip available. Whereas Robin Franks is just sliding, as you said, everywhere, Jack. Is this going to be pole position number seven for Stoffel van Dorn? Is it going to be pole position number three of the season in four races for Mercedes EQ? Franks is still catching. Quarter of a second between them. Van Dorn has set his benchmark at 1 minute 39.151. Another slide a, from Franks. Mighty last corner, Jack out across the line, and it's pole position for Stoffel van Dorn and Mercedes EQ.